Hello and welcome back to another video on Dark Tide here on Brookside Gaming with me Zug and today we're taking a look at the Zealot and what build I'm currently running. So I'll just uh, forewarn everyone with this, these builds are not quite finished yet. I'm not going to have the proper stats or the most meta of, you know, uh, optimal build settings because you know it's early days and most of the crafting system isn't in so it's just mostly made out of luck so this is what I'm currently using I am using the heavy eviscerator and this is just the best one I have I wouldn't pay too much attention to the perks or the blessings because as I said it's all based on luck at the moment because you can't re-roll them I am keeping hold of a few things just for the future when you can reroll this stuff, but for now, this is what we're going with. I'm going mostly looking just at the modifiers that you can buy, so damage, penetration, cleave, and shredder. Everything else is kind of like, eh, it's just, it is what it is at the moment. If you get something with better perks or blessings, then go for it, but mostly I'm looking at these ones. And the secondary I'm using is a bolt gun. And there's quite a lot of um, back and forth with the preacher with what second you should be using. Should you be using an auto pistol, a shotgun, a flamer, a bolt gun? Kind of all depends what difficulty you're running and what you want it for. So if you're going for pure horde clearing, take the flamer. If you prefer more of a run and gun, switching between melee and ranged, take the shotgun. I literally take the bolt gun for one specific reason, which is when I'm doing heresy or higher and I'm surrounded by these twats. And what the bolt gun, gun does, ugh, what the bolt gun does is it makes them go away very quickly. And even with the shield. So, what the eviscerator lacks in the ability to do of these, the bolt gun more than makes up for it. So, the talents I'm running are pretty bog standard for a preacher at the moment. Uh, feats, there we go. So, I'm using Purity in Blood to replenish 50% more toughness on melee kills because I'm using melee most of the time I'm literally only switching to the bolter to clear out any heavy armor bloodletting 10% melee crit chance for 3 seconds on melee hit against bleeding enemies crits make things bleed I'm trying to stack as much crit as I can to make this more worth it uh, benediction 15% toughness damage reduction for all allies in coherency and if you've watched any of my other videos, for the love of God, please stay in coherence as much as you can. The game really, really wants you to, and so do I. When you don't stay in coherency, you make Zug cry. And Thy Wrath be swift. You no longer get stunned by enemy melee attacks when you take damage. Gain 20% movement speed. I've actually found this one a lot more useful than... Holy Revenant. I found Holy Revenant only useful for doing the healing achievement. Other than that, it wasn't that great. I mean, it's, it's alright. But I find this far more all-rounder and more useful. And for the 25, we 4% damage for 5 seconds on hit. Max stacks 5. So this is literally... Because I'm in melee all the time, this is going to be running most of the time. Though if you wanted to go with more of a hybrid, say, flamer shotgun build, you can always take Emperor's Executioner. Deal up to 25% increased range damage based on the proximity of the target. So, flamer and shotgun, that is quite good for. I don't like Honor Thy Martyr because it requires you to play very sketchily and be almost dead most of the time and in the higher difficulties that will screw you over unless you're extremely good at playing 
and at this point most people aren't and last but not least purge the wicked chastise the wicked now has two charges i just find that extremely useful but yeah i'll uh, i'll show you why i prefer the eviscerated chainsword over the thunder hammer because you can do stupid things like this and if you didn't know your F ability isn't just a little hop forward. You actually target something. As you can see, he's glowing orange. You rev up the chainsaw. Let loose. And you charge at that target. So yeah, the F ability you can use to actually target mobs you want to go for. You don't just have to hop forwards. Let's do that again. But yeah, the uh, Mystery Chain Sword seems to be I think it works better than the Thunder Hammer, to be honest. The special ability on it to rev it up. Yeah, it's not quite as clean as the Thunder Hammer where you turn it on and can usually one hit something. But the Chainsword seems to do a lot better with cleaving hordes and stacking those feet bonuses. But yeah, for now, that is what I'm running for the Zealot. And it's been working pretty well. I'm just starting to sort of dabble with um, damnation or dominion difficulty. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but yeah, this is this build's working fine for that. I would like some m more upgraded weapons, but you know, we're just gonna have to pray to R and Jesus for that because it's literally checking back in the shop every hour to see what it's got. Or hoping something drops at the end of a mission. But yeah, other than that, I hope this guide helps. And if it does, drop a comment below. If you think I've got I've done something wrong, or you think there should be something I haven't looked over, feel free to comment, and uh, I'll have another look. And if warranted, I'll make another video. So until the next one, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and I shall see you all next time.